Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. It is x cube minus 125 over cube root 4x plus 10 equal to 250 over cube root 10. x belongs to real number. So let's get started. I will begin with denominator cannot be 0. So 4x plus 10 can't be 0. So 4x cannot be equal to minus 10 or x cannot be equal to minus 5 over 2. Now we can multiply, cross multiply exactly, x cube minus 125 equal to 250 over cube root 10 times cube root of 4x plus 10. Now I will write this 250 separately. So 250 if I will write here, 250 can be written as 5 times 50. 5 can be written as cube root 125 times 50. 125 is 5 cube, cube root and cube will be over. So 5 is cube root of 125. So I will write here cube root of 125, it is our 5 and 50 is as it is. Then we have cube root of 4x plus 10 and denominator we have cube root 10. Now cube root of 125, I will merge with cube root of 4x plus 10. So I can consider 50 times cube root of 125 4x plus 10 and denominator is cube root of 10. Now I will take the product 50 times cube root of 125 times 4 so 500x 125 times 10 so it is 1250, 1250 divided by cube root 10. Now you can see this cube root will be in the denominator. So I will write 50 times cube root of, let me di divide directly. So it will become 50x plus 125. So this equation ultimately converts into x cube minus 125 equal to 50 times cube root of 50x plus 125. Let me write here x cube minus 125 equal to 50 times cube root of 50x plus 125. Now I will use substitution straight away. Let me consider this radicant equal to y cube. So I can write immediately y cube equal to 50x plus 125 or y cube minus 125 equal to 50x. Now original equation, this equation will become x cube after substitution x cube minus 125 equal to 50 times cube root and cube will be over y. Now there are two equations you can see and they are symmetrical in x and y. Let me write this equation, second equation. So y cube minus 125 equal to 50x. Now let us consider this is 1, this is 2, equation 1 and 2. Take away second one from first equation, change of sign, x cube minus y cube equal to 50 times y minus x or minus 50 times x minus y. Take all the term to one side 
and apply here a q minus b q formula. So I will be writing first I will write x q minus y q plus 50 x minus y equal to 0. Now a q minus b q a minus b a square plus b square plus a b plus 50 times x minus y equal to 0. x minus y is overall common. In bracket I will write x square plus y square plus x y plus 50 equal to 0. f dot g equal to 0 that means either f equal to 0 or z equal to 0. So I will be writing either x minus y will be 0 or this bracket x square plus y square plus x y plus 50 equal to 0. Let me write x minus y equal to 0 or x square plus y square plus x y plus 50 equal to 0. Two equations. So if I will consider the very first equation, then it will give us x equal to y. We will take this equation little later. Now let's consider the second equation, this equation. So I will be writing here x square plus y square plus x y and minus 50 to the other side. Let's multiply both sides with 4. 4 here and we will multiply with 4 here. Left hand side I can write 4x square plus 4y square plus 4xy equal to minus 200. Then I will split this 4y square in y square and 3y square. So y square I will write here then 4xy and now I will be writing remaining 3y square equal to minus 200. Now from first 3 term it is one perfect square. It is perfect square of 2x plus y. You can check a square so 2x whole square so 4x square b square so y square 2ab so 4xy. And this is 3y square equal to minus 200. Now this is positive. Square is always positive. This is again positive. We are adding. Left hand side is overall positive. Right hand side it is negative. Positive plus positive equal to positive. Right hand side negative. So it is not possible in real numbers. So I will write here non-real solutions. So rejected. From this equation we will be having complex solution only. Now this equation is the solution part. So let us solve using x is equal to y. So let me write our original equation first. So equation was x cube minus 125 equal to 50y or second equation was y cube minus 125 equal to 50x. This was substitution equation and this was original equation. Now condition is x equal to y. So wherever you want to put, you can put, you will be getting ultimately the common equation equation would be x cube minus 125 equal to 50 x after putting x equal to y either of the equation. Now I will consider all the term to one side x cube minus 50 x minus 125 equal to 0. Using rational root theorem we can write the eligible factors of constant term 125 would be plus minus 1 plus minus 5 plus minus 25 and plus minus 125. 
leading coefficient is already plus minus 1. So no need to write. Now consider the ratio. Let me put few values. So if I am putting x is equal to minus 5, see what will happen. So minus 5 cube minus 125 minus 50 times minus 5 plus 250 minus 125. Is this equal to 0? Yes. This is making our equation 0. So that means x is equal to minus 5 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. So I will write all the coefficient of this cubic equation. Coefficient of x cube, it is 1. Coefficient of x square, 0. Because that term is not available. Coefficient of x, minus 50. Constant coefficient, minus 125. Put one line. Leading coefficient, unchanged. Now I will multiply with this base solution. Minus 5 times 1, minus 5 minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 5, 25. So I will be writing minus 25 here. Minus 5 times minus 25 plus 1 to 5, 0. These are coefficients for quadratic equation. So equation would be x square minus 5x minus 25 equal to 0. Now the remaining two solution we will have from here. One solution is clear and confirmed. That is our base solution x equal to 5. Let's solve this quadratic equation. x square minus 5x minus 25 equal to 0. Now I will use Shridrachar formula minus b 5 plus minus under the root b square minus 5 square 25 minus 4 a c so plus 4 times 25 it would be 100 over 2 a so 2 a is 1 so this will give us 5 plus minus 125 over 2 now i will write x is equal to 125 can be written as 25 times 5. So square root of 25 is 5. So I will write 5 root 5 over 2. Or if I will take 5 common, then it would be 5 over 2 in bracket 1 plus minus root 5. So our ultimate solution for this challenging radical equation would be x is equal to the very first solution it was negative 5 then we have got two irrational solutions 5 over 2 in bracket 1 plus minus square root 5 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video friends good luck and take care